Um, now those dishes, now I have to tell you the picture here um, is, is my kitchen um, taken not in action. Um, this is a real estate picture right before we got ready to sell our last home. But um, what I wanted to highlight here is like you have a dishwasher, just embrace the chaos and just use it. Just run it every single day. Like don't sit there and tell yourself like it's not economical or it's not environmentally friendly. If it's not full all the way, like you really just have to find a routine that works for you and for your family. And if just having a routine of turning it on every night and unloading it every morning um, is the thing that keeps everything from piling up, then just embrace it and by all means do it. Um, and once the kids are old enough and it's safe enough, you know, embrace them in the in, in the in the chores. Um, you know, get them involved. Um, and just, just let the machines do the work for you. You just have to like give in to it. <laughs> um, another thing I will have to shout out is, you know, maybe you want to do a consult with a um, home organizer and kind of simplify your life and declutter your kitchen quite a bit. Um, you know, and just, if you have things that you don't use in your kitchen, you know, and they're taking up prime real estate, maybe it's just time to get rid of them. Or if you have a lot of different sizes of things, and so it's always a hassle to kind of get things in and out, um, then maybe it's just time to simplify. We have, as you can see in that picture, some very large drawers. And so one of those bottom drawers is where all of our kids stuff is kept. And we, we have that in this house too. Um, and so they know exactly where their stuff is and it's safe for them to get it in and out. So Again, engaging your kids in the process and really setting things up to be functional um, and just like letting go of things that you don't.